Good day everyone and welcome to our plant animation tutorial. And today this is the part 1 of the video. So first, let's open our blender. And first of all, let's select everything in the default scene. Press A and X to delete. Shift A and click the mesh and select the single word. Now, if you have no single word option here, you can go to Edit tab and select Preferences. And in Add-ons, activate the extra objects. Now, let's press again the Shift A. And on the mesh, click the single word and add a single word. Now press the one on your numpad key. This will not work on the laptop, but don't worry, you can do it on the edit tab. And on the input, just check the emulate numpad. Okay, now you can press the one. Now, let's move the viewport below by pressing the shift and hold your middle mouse. Now press the E to extrude the curve until you make an S like this. Now if you were done, click the tab and go to modifier properties and click the add modifier and choose the subdivision surface and set the level to 2 now right click and click convert to and curve so this will serve as our growth path for the plant and now we'll need an actual curve that will create our geometry so press shift a and add a single word now press e then z on the keyboard and move it up just like this now hold your ctrl r and scroll your middle mouse up to increase the number of cuts something like this and now click the tab again right click and convert to curve and now in the curve settings go to geometry section and increase the depth you can hold the left mouse to change the depth then click the tab to show the cuts click on the upper point section and click the proportional editing just press alt s and scroll your middle mouse while moving your mouse like this left click if you were done and click the tab now go to modifier and add curve modifier then on curve object click the eyedropper data block and select your first curve in viewport as a target and in the deform axis, click it and that will map our new curve to do the original one. Please be careful then, here. You can see I did this in the front view. So both our curves are made along the Z axis. That's why this works out right of the box. If you try to go and create curves in different rotations or orientations, you might get into all kind of trouble. So please be careful to follow the instructions and directions and placement of these objects. Now this will be pretty easy to animate this along the path. But the next thing we need are some leaves. So let's go to the front view again just press 1 now press shift a and add another single word click the tab and press g 
and move it here aside hold the shift and middle mouse and move like this so we can see what we are doing here then zoom out now press E and Z to extrude this make sure you press the tab so you can extrude it then again press ctrl R and scroll up your middle mouse to make few cuts then click and press the tab then right click and convert to curve and again go to curve properties and hold the shift while adjusting the depth of the object in a little bit smaller like this now click the tab then click the upper point section and press the alt s and scroll your mouse while moving it like what we did before now let's create actually some leaves so press shift a and let's add a plane then press r x add 90 for 90 degrees then press g and x to move it here aside now click the tab then press g and z and 1 to move it up 1 meter now disable the proportional editing then press S and X to scale the plane on X axis like this then press tab and then Control R then scroll up to make two cuts like this then on the upper section highlight it to create some loop cuts here press S to scale it like this then now highlights the below section or vertices and press S to scale like this now let's create a leaf shape just please be careful on this highlights the middle of vertices here then press G and Z like this okay and let's highlight this one then press S just to scale it to make something like a leaf shape now let's move our viewport like this by pressing your middle mouse then highlights the four middle vertices here then press G and Y and move like this then press Ctrl R to make a cuts on the middle here on the upper left on the screen click the edge select now click the middle edge then press Ctrl B to bevel it then increase your edge by scrolling your mouse up to make three edges then enable your auto merge here on the right side of the screen now select this vertex then press G twice to move this all the way up and this one press G twice and move this all the way down now now press the edge select on the upper left of the screen then click the middle edge right there and press the G and Y and move it on Y axis like this and let's select these two vertices by holding the shift on keyboard to select these two vertices then press G and Y and move this to Y axis 
so we have now this nice left shape and also you can highlight the upper edge of the leaf and press G and Y to move in Y axis like this. Okay, then rotate your viewport. So press the tab and now go to modifier properties and add modifier then let's add the subdivision surface then change your level into 6 then go to object and click shade smooth now you can rotate it and see your work in a leaf you can also click the other object just click the branch and add modifier then select subdivision surface now press 1 for the front view then select the leaf this time we will use G R S and Alt D I know you were already familiar on this okay so let's go ahead press G and S to scale and move like this press G to move R to rotate Alt D to duplicate and you can try it now okay so go ahead you can try it on your own Okay, so if you were done, highlights all the sleeves, then right click and select convert to mesh. Okay, then now highlights it again. And now press Ctrl J. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the part 2 or the final project of the plant animation. So don't forget to subscribe and just click the notification bell so we can meet on the next video.